Hey there everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're working on New Toy Day. Uh, it is our new Plague Marines box set. Um, just got these in from my friendly local gaming store and I'm really pleased with the the uh, the box. Uh, it comes with three guys. Now this is kind of a genius thing on the part of GW because I've already got the Dark Imperium box set and it's got seven guys. And with these guys, it makes it an even three. Even more interesting is it comes with a Blight Launcher, which you don't get in the other set, which is nice. It's a new weapon, so even if you've got old Death Guard, there's still some value there. It's got the uh, Champion in here with the Power Fist and the Knife and the Sword. And it also has a regular dude with a Bolter. So we can combine this with the other unit. And now we can have two squads of five, which is awesome. Uh, comes with uh, the rules for the guys, which is cool, the assembly instructions and all that. So I'm looking forward to seeing those. And uh, it's a nice box. It's um, you know kind of grabs your attention on the shelf. The purple in the background is is also kind of cool because that's the color they're going with with Nurgle these days for that you know kind of life obscene life uh, you know kind of disgorging from chaos there. So kind of cool. So uh, let's get this guy open. All right, so we can see that it comes with uh, the slotted bases, which is okay. I'm actually probably going to swap them out for the uh, the regular plain 32s because I like to weight my bases, either with nickels or with washers or something like that. So uh, I'm probably going to swap those bases out, but they won't be lost. I'll use them on updating my old metal Space Marines to the 32 mil bases, so they'll be weighted anyway, so it's not too bad. But uh, the bases, um, like I said, not big on the slotted bases because I weight them. However, again, they won't they won't be uh, lost at all. I'll totally put them to good use. So uh, let's take a look at the other pieces here now. So we've got the instruction manual. We've got the sprue itself. Uh, let's take two seconds and look at the instruction manual. Um, I really like the the kind of layout. Uh, obviously, it's full color. I mean, they haven't been full color before, which is which is cool. Um, on the back, it's just talking about you know the ad blurbs and all that. Uh, of course, they get all the different languages um, that they supply to, which is pretty sweet. And it also talks about the other the other box sets that are coming out. They're really pushing hard with these varied box sets, and I think it's 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 pretty awesome. Okay, so do 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 uh, the generic assembly instructions, of course. Uh, don't glue your fingers together and all that. But with the push fit models again really 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 easy to put together which is which is great cool uh next page is going to be ah it's our painting guide you'll see here that they've got kind of how they paint their standard scheme again a little bit more advertising in there always good uh and of course the plague marine rules that are in here as well and ah it does say one plague champion and two plague marines so they actually give you this data sheet for just the three guys to bring into your army so it's a four point narrative thing and I think that's really, really cool. So I'll have to check the decks to see if you can get them in threes, but uh, that's that's pretty sweet. Actually, if you could reduce the squad size down to three, that'd be even more economical. I like the idea of having the five guys uh, on the same, um, on, like two squads of five, uh, because they're crazy expensive in terms of uh, both power points and both points themselves. They're really tough as nails, but you don't need 30 of these guys. So pretty sweet okay so uh next up oh this is just all the different languages and da, 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 da. perfect okay so that's a nice little bit of instructions obviously with the push fit models the instructions are are fairly simple but uh really digging that next up is going to be our sprue itself and first look at the sprue Lots of detail in here, very similar to the other design aesthetics, go figure, uh, of the uh, Dark Imperium stuff. So it's nice that it all goes together. Um, not a lot of mold lines, so not a lot of trimming, which is a nice observation. The Blight Launcher is a nice change because obviously you don't have that. And again, like I said before, even if you've got some older uh, Plague Marines kicking around, you don't quite have that Blight Launcher yet. So lots of detail. You know, it's nice to see these little bits of animation. They kind of carried some elements over, but they've got the swinging blight grenades there. Uh, I like this uh, plasma gun on the back here, this plasma rifle here. Really, really nice. Uh, the leaders are going to be cool with these big teeth, uh, you know, reaching out reaching out in the front. So hopefully it's not too obscured by, by details and such. But what I'm going to do now is I'll assemble it all together. Uh, I love I love the aesthetic of it, like they're bringing in skulls and the plague sensors here, and they've got... And, you know, these kind of rotted out, kind of starred out chaos -y pieces in here with the three holes. So lots of variety visually throughout the whole thing. Ooh, even the power fist is pretty solid. So let's assemble these up 
and we'll be right back. So for the assembly, I'm just gonna clip off the lower part of the base that goes into the slotter because I am going to be gluing it onto my 32 mil bases here. All right, so I've got them all assembled now and uh, the first look at them, they look really sharp. I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, the color. Obviously it is green, which is different from that gray plastic. So they're pretty much ready to go onto the table. Uh, if you're just roughing them together, you grab the kit, you're heading back and all of a sudden you wanna you know, just do a quick game. You can actually do that. Uh, they've got that nice greenish tinge to them and they'll not, obviously they're not painted, but I mean, they'll, they'll look a little bit more, uh, you know, table worthy than the, than just the gray plastic going in. So it's kind of a neat move from, uh, from GW. Now that plastic, although it's, uh, you know, that, that color is really cool and it's actually very similar to the, the death guard color. The color that, I, the, the thing that I wanted to talk about with the, these guys is because of that plastic's a little bit harder, I ended up getting a lot more mold lines than I would normally prefer. Now I didn't see them originally, but uh, they're actually fairly prominent on uh, on the heads here. Now, it's nothing that a little bit of knife work couldn't solve. It's not like the molds are offset or anything, but I just wanted you guys to be aware of that. Just be prepared to do a little bit of knife work in there to, to make that happen. Now, the push fits, again, going for the absolute noob who's, uh, who's never played before, the push fits fit so nicely that you could literally just push them together put them on the bases and then just have at. Uh, they, they, you know, they fit really well. So all I did literally was push these together with the push fit and then put a little bit of the cement in there to kind of hold it all together. So uh, very easy to assemble, which was which was fantastic. Uh, another side note is, is the seams. Um, GW is getting so good at taking those seams and turning them into the mold elements. So this whole chest piece and the neck and piece up here was all meant to just slide in together and it fits well, without using the cliche, it fits seamlessly and literally there's no seams at all. Here you can see a couple of mold lines that I missed. You really got to make sure you do a quick look over and scrape these guys down pretty well. But anyway, uh, let's get on to the, the detail of things. So the aspiring champion, uh, he's really sweet. He's got, uh, of course, the chain mail in there, the little plague sensors there. He's got the fly symbology on his knee, which is cool. You know, the tentacles kind of you know coming off of, you know, out of all the different nooks and crannies of the armor. So it's a new move for the Death Guard where they got all these little tentacles kind of coming around and it's a big return to the original kind of Death Guard and, um, and plague bearer models where they had little bits of tentacles everywhere. I also really like this kind of chest cavity, you know, totally chaosed out, morphed over with, you know, cables sticking down and all that, but just these these gruesome teeth. Of course, when we paint that up, it'll look pretty, pretty, pretty heavy duty, especially with the, you know, the bright pink or red gums to go with it. Uh, you can see here that he's got this bone kind of bursting out of his armor. I mean, and that is, that's ceramide armor, right? So it's, it's a big mutation to have that go through. We've got the skulls in here. Some of them you'll be able to white out some eyes. So you got kind of, uh, you know, zombie eyes going on. Uh, the plasma gun in the back being held up by the tentacles looking really sharp. And of course the three skulls on the top of the fly symbology there as well. Lots of personality and character in this guy. Uh, you know, his face, he's screaming out orders, he's got maggots everywhere. Really good piece. Now, the other guy, the bolter guy, uh, liking him as well. Again, a very neutral dude, really, in the squad. Just a, a, a guy with a bolter. But he's got the old kind of, you know, uh, spiky helmet. You know, that's echoed, of course, in the spikes in his shoulder plates here. You know, the skulls are making their way, worming their way through the rotting armor. You know, the... Uh, the, actually, I really like this this blight grenade here as well with the skulls, uh, the three individual skulls in there as well. Just a basic, you know, moving forward Death Guard trooper looking really solid with, of course, the Mark III kind of feelings, these Legionnaire type, uh, you know, legs at the back as well. Really cool, especially just for a regular bolter guy. So uh, loving the fact that they've all got these, you know, gobs of personality, uh, even though they're just line rank and file folks. And with again with the push fits, uh, you can do a lot more you know cool stuff as opposed to say the multi part kits. So the last guy here is the blight launcher guy, and uh, looked at the stats for the blight launcher. It's actually a pretty impressive little weapon with some decent AP in there. Uh, this guy can just start moving up the field and tap 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 this thing out the door. Really really cool. He's got the little fly uh, fetishes down here underneath. Again going back to that heavy Mark III. Kind of look and feel to them really really good uh, the hand got cut off or something and just mutated back out to this kind of 
tentacly claw type thing really cool the chains get echoed here and there as well so you can see a lot of the repeating uh, kind of motifs that go throughout here again with the backpack being totally different from the other two really sharp looking and very happy with the models in general so cannot wait to add these guys to my other seven from my uh, dark imperium set and uh, that'll put us forward and we'll be able to actually start our painting tutorials now for our death guard and i'll have the full 10 models so very happy with it really pleased with the kit in general uh, everything about them just screams quality except for those mold lines that'd be my only criticism out of the whole mess here uh, but other than that, I think that's uh, that's the end of that review. Uh, let me know in the comments what your thoughts are. Hope it uh, hope it was of value to you guys. And if you liked the video, obviously hit that like button. It really helps get the video out there and helps the channel out a ton. And if you're interested in more videos just like this, feel free to subscribe. There's that subscribe button right there under this video. Uh, tap that, and you'll get all the notifications of all of our future videos. So just want to say thanks again, and we'll catch you guys in the next video.